Quite a bit out there. Starts the goaltending, uh, special teams. Uh, well, played a lot in the outcome of this hockey game. Yeah, I thought it was a great hockey game. You know, yeah, sure, we made some uh, turnovers in certain areas, but so did they. I mean, it's two teams fighting for a playoff game without the fans. Got entertained unbelievably. They had 49 shots. Uh, I think we had close to 40, maybe over 40. I'm not quite sure. Ryman was unreal, you know, coming in when Lou had to, you know, sit down for the rest of the game. But a lot of good stuff. I thought the penalty killing when they had uh, five on three was amazing this is I don't you know I know they're eighth in the league but they're lethal they got one of the best power plays in hockey and they got four or five options that they can run pretty consistent our guys did an unbelievable job at cutting it down so hey we got a point Boston lost uh, Toronto's playing in San Jose tonight so this thing's gonna go right down to the wire but I thought it was a fun fun game to be a part of and it difficult too. Uh, you feel that your your team did the job against uh, uh, Voracek and, and Giroux and, and Simmons their top their top offensive weapons yeah, definitely. I thought our guys did a great job. I thought our forwards did a terrific job of coming back, reloading, tracking back to the neutral zone so our D could stand up and get really tight. And that, I think that shut down a lot of their offense because, you know, once you let them come through the neutral zone with speed, they're going to get their chances. And then I thought we did a really good job of that. So, overall, real happy with the game. Thomas Vanek's game, his first game as a Florida Panther. Yeah, he played great. You know, I, I thought Bukestad played his best game of the year. I thought he was really good. And I thought him and Vanek and, and Marshy really clicked real well. So, that, that was good. That's why Dale made the trade to get Vanek and uh, have three lines that we can roll against anybody. And I thought Thority and McKenzie. Thority and McKenzie and Sevio really got us going in the second period. They had a shift where they were physical. They kept it in the offensive zone, and then we kind of took off from there. Your, your team, you think, you're frustrating that they didn't get that extra point? Well, it's always frustrating in these shootout losses. I mean, it really is. I mean, especially when we're fighting for every point. But, you know, we're going to build off it. We go home against Dallas, and we got a big game with them. Was Vanek uh, your next guy up in the shootout? Uh, he was. He was number four. You know, he's he's unbelievable. You know, he you know, he may move into that top rotation, but you know, we thought the other guys were doing such a good job for us. You know, would give them the crack at it first. Coach about Lou, uh, what happened? When did he get hurt? Was he hurt? Uh, yeah, I think during the power play. You know, he lower body. He'll be out for a week. We called a Barra, so he'll be in Florida tomorrow. Is it the same thing. It's been troubling, or was it a new uh, no thing? Yeah, a little, little bit, but no, it's 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 pretty much the same thing. You know, it's real basic. I don't think it's going to be anything long term. So it's just kind of stuff. So. Lower body, yeah. And a little bit on, on not only Reimer, but, but Barra. I mean, these are yeah. guys who we talked to the training camp about. Yeah, I know Barra was a guy we liked who had a real good camp, and we got him for this reason. So he's coming in tomorrow, and Reimer played unbelievable tonight, made huge saves for us all night long, gave us a chance. Been for you. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's been great. That's why we signed him, and I, I thought he... Uh, came in every night we've asked him to come up big he's come up big he's had a couple of games maybe that weren't great but overall it's been amazing what he's done for us Tom was Barrett the first choice to be the backup to Lucy and then Ryan just well we had we, we yeah we got better I mean uh, call a spade a spade we got Barrett as an insurance policy our target was always Reimer and then we uh, kept Barra you know Vinny and Doug were great about keeping him as uh, you know backup down there, you know, it's our number one guy down there to bring up if we ever got a guy hurt here. So it's been great. It worked out well. The PK, uh, unbelievable. Yeah. And, and Eckblad scores a goal on it. Yeah, Eckblad, unbelievable move he made. Uh, the thing that was real impressive against this power play is, that, you know, they went over video with Scott this morning and they were able to shut down every single play that they were trying to run. And, and that's what was impressive because this is one of the best power play groups in the league. Thanks, Coach.